then there is no reason why such a girl should be prevented from going out if the atmosphere is as safe or as unsafe as in school during the expedition. In this door, if there is no difference, it is not wise on the part of the parents to stop their girls from participating in holiday <coughs> excursions. But <coughs> one has to be realistic. If what you tell me is exactly right or there is some difference. I believe that when you go out and ex on excursions, there is every likelihood that boys and girls walk alone without being in the sight of other people, teachers and others. And the atmosphere is such that they are more likely to go astray than in the atmosphere of the school. So perhaps that for the, the, that these were the fears of the parents. Not that they thought they were actually absolutely equal and that yet they stopped them. Moreover, in the modern society, in the schools, evils are penetrating so rapidly and so widely now that even the pupils are not safe from their own teachers. And I know as facts of life, published by authorities, investigators, etc., that these are now the problems of at least schools in England, where uh, vice is practiced in the school between pupil-teacher relationship. Boys are not even safe from masters, the girls are not safe, and so on and so forth. So there is a compulsion for the parents. There is a question of choices for the parents. Either they can decide to completely boycott the education system and let their children grow totally ignorant, or to take maximum precautions and yet permit them to go, practicing safety, caution, etc. So this is the limited choice available to those Muslim parents who want to retain their moral values. But beyond that, they don't want to take risks. Here is something as a must. There is something is optional. So for the must, you can take some risks. But for the optional, you don't have to take risks. 